Welcome to another intriguing episode. Today we pose the question, why is the ocean salty but rivers aren't? The answer? It's all thanks to a never-ending dance known as the water cycle. Picture this, fresh rain incessantly pouring down to earth. As it cascades, it doesn't just meander idly. This rain is a tad acidic, a result of its playful interaction with carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. This hint of acidity acts like a gentle nudge, coaxing tiny bits of minerals and salts from the rocks and soil they call home. Now these dissolved minerals are no home bodies. They seize the opportunity for an adventure, hitching a ride with the rainwater. Their journey takes them down into streams, then into rivers, a winding path that leads them closer to their final destination. The journey of these minerals doesn't end there, however, they have a salty destination ahead. Rivers and streams transport these minerals, eventually depositing them in the oceans. But the ocean is a different story. It's more of a salty cul-de-sac rather than a flowing highway. While rivers act as conveyor belts carrying dissolved salts from the land to the sea, the ocean is where this salty journey ends. Enter the sun, our star player in this symphony of salinity. The sun constantly shines on the ocean surface, causing water to evaporate and rise as vapor. This vapor later condenses into clouds and falls back to earth as rain, ready to begin the cycle anew. But the salt? It's not invited to this skyward soiree. It remains behind in the ocean, getting more concentrated with each passing cycle. Thus, over millions of years, the ocean has become a salty soup, while rivers remain fresh. It's a fascinating tale of a one-way salt trip and the sun's salty symphony. But wait, there are some exceptions to this rule. Take a look at the Dead Sea, for instance. Located in a closed basin with high evaporation and minimal freshwater input, this lake holds a salt concentration that even surpasses the ocean. But don't be fooled, the ocean's salinity isn't on a constant rise. Scientists hypothesize a salty equilibrium where some salt gets buried in ocean floor sediments, countering the continuous addition by rivers. So it's a delicate balance that keeps our oceans salty. So, there you have it. The mystery of our salty oceans and fresh rivers unravelled. It's all thanks to the constant water cycle, which carries minerals from rocks and soil into our rivers and eventually the oceans. But remember, the sun's heat ensures that only fresh water gets to make the return journey, leaving the salt behind. Next time you take a sip from a freshwater river and then take a dip in the salty ocean, remember the amazing water cycle. Thanks for joining us on this scientific adventure.